Hey everybody, Brandon Gaff here from Two Clicks from KO, bringing you an unboxing and first impressions of DC Heroclix Man of Steel. Uh, six figure starter set featuring another than Superman, which was lovingly purchased from my local venue, DJ's Collectibles, located here in uh, friendly Hanford, California. If you're looking for some organized play, come check out our venue. So grabbing the package here, we see uh, this is advertised in the front, six-figure starting set. We have, uh, indeed, six figures here. We'll go over those momentarily. Uh, first, let's glance over the packaging. I can already tell, looking through the, the clamshell here, or the blister, rather, we have the new 2013 Powers and Ability card. So if that doesn't get your uh, motor running, for those who are pretty down on the Ravagers, fast forward to the set for not having the 2013 one. Uh, boom, here it is. Go ahead and uh, pick this up if you want to have a friendly handheld copy instead of using your uh, smartphone to keep a current version of the rules up for you. Uh, as always, the new theme going on, we have the online enhanced version. It's going to come with uh, some online counterparts for those of you who play HeroClix online. Here we have a close-up view of the figures featured here in the, uh, the, the starter set. You can see, uh, oh look, Mr. Crow. Yeah, pretty Pretty nice looking. Spoiler alert, the faces don't look this uh, this genuine on the figures. You'll see that when you open. Um, this set's going to have six miniature game pieces I already spoke about. Six character cards for the respective six figures it comes with. Some object tokens. Rule book. Two full color maps and two dice. So, let's just, there's a man of steel checking you out there in the front. Let's go ahead and just open this up. Alrighty. Put the map and rule books aside for now. Mm, looks like I'm already rolling dice here. One already fell out. Little, uh, little disappointed. These are just some standard black and white die right off the bat. Wish you would have maybe some Batman centric colors. The movie Avenger set came with uh, white and red. Uh, the Hulk starter set came with, I'm sorry, the Hulk Fast Forces came with green and yellow. But, you know, if I can have worse things happen to me today than that. Um, look at the figures here. Let's go ahead and pull out a uh, top left and work down uh, clockwise here. We have Superman clocking in at a 200 point value and a 150 point value. He's got flying, indomitability, range of 8. Uh, we'll look at his card later. He's got prob, charge, super strength, and pervious on a top dial. 11, 11, 18, 4. Not, not a bad way to start things off here. Uh, skull book's pretty good. Personally, I am more of a fan of the comic style figures that you typically see from the regular releases like Teen Titans, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, as the theme with this and the Avengers and the Dark Knight, they have more of a, um, or we're trying to emulate a more realistic look, which I, I, I can appreciate, but I'm just more of a fan of the comic booky animated feel. Um, looks like now we dig into Superman's special power here. Oh, we'll look into, uh, we'll look into what this guy does a little bit later. Let's put him aside for now. Next up, we have General Zod. He's also coming in at two different point values. He's got the uh, 200 and 100, oh, excuse me, 100, 200 and 100 point value, uh, rocking the PD team ability. It's worth notice, noting that uh, Superman is rocking the Superman team ability. Should have pointed that out earlier. Uh, starts off running shot, 10, 10, 18 with invulnerability, 7 range, 2 targets, uh, regular combat values. Just kind of clicking here, kind of a uh, kind of falls off a bit. Gets some few nines for attack value. Defense drops down to a 16 to a 15, with the attack bumps to a 10, back to a 16. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what that special attack power is. Next up, we have uh, Russell Crowe. I'm sorry, Jor L, who is also coming in at two different point values, 175 point value. Um, looks like he's got Leap Climb, TK off the top, Nadal there, uh, Toughness, Special Ability. He's got one target range of six, no team ability. Uh, get some prob later on, range combat expert. Yeah, I want to see what the special abilities are, but more on that later. Next 
Next up, we have the Kryptonian Warrior. This is a really, really nice sculpt. I like the paint applications here. Uh, the nice glossy finish makes it look like he's an armored, uh, armored foe there, or friend, depending on what side you are. He does come in at two point dies as well, 75 and a 50. Uh, he got some uh, special ability given by the star there on his dial. Single target range of five. Um, top dial got eight charge, 17 toughness, three exploit weakness. Flurry, blades, claws, toughness. As you click a little bit, yeah, I know the quality might be a little grainy, so you can't read the combat values, but we'll go over that later. Let's put it back. Next, we have Namek. This is a really, really neat looking sculpt. This is a big guy, big guy here. To give you some perspective, there's Superman and there is Mam or Nam Ek. Pretty good, pretty big guy. Uh, he only has one point value here, 100. Uh, different. Looks like he's got the um, colossal size. Oh, not colossal. Giant figure there. Uh, and vulnerability, not vulnerability. Yes, and vulnerability. Charge, toughness, special ability there on the second click. And uh, uh, combat values kind of fade there after the first three clicks. His attack really plummets to an eight. And then last but not least, we have Fiora. No team ability, sharpshooter. Uh, special ability here. One target range of seven. Get some shape change, some penetrating second blast. Get some blades. That's that's interesting. She gets one random click right there, blades, and goes back to penetrating blast, then back to blades again. And her point value is 100. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. And a lot of people are going to be stoked for uh, for having these around. Here's the new PAC. Now the cardboard's a little bit thinner than what we're uh, what we've been getting the last time around. I wonder what the reason for that was. And I'm sorry, Namek is giant size. That's his combat mod, uh, combat value there. I can't remember what I said earlier. I knew it was incorrect though. So it looks like they feels like they kind of skimped out here on this, but it's it's still nice to have. I'm not gonna complain too much. Um, 2013 core rulebook, the handheld version. I actually have a uh, binder of all my uh, printouts and ATAs and feats that I keep my uh, larger version of that in. But it's nice to have one on hand. I can keep it to go. Uh, I go to tournaments in case they ever need a quick resource. Not bad. It's, you know, got the line of fire chart here. You know, requirements for theme team. Our obligatory tokens. I wonder if we're gonna have any neat heavy and light object tokens. Let's see. And standard stuff. Good old rock sewer cap wrecking ball. Garbage cans. Yeah. And then more of these. Barrier Smoke Special with their company Hinden Train in the back. Here is our map. It's going to be extremely difficult to uh, actually fold this out. We'll see if I can get a, uh, a shot of it later on. We have it's Smallville Outdoor. I wonder what the other, other side is. Hmm. It's definitely uh, it's using stealth right now. All right, so here we are. We got the ability cards here. Six of them for six characters, starting with Superman. Special ability is an inspiration. For the characters with the lower point value, that beginner in an action, Superman can use willpower for that action. Huh, not bad. Give, uh, especially if you're playing at the 200 point value, there's a lot of figures you can give adjacency to, and then uh, give them willpower. Um, all I have to do is begin or end adjacent to them, too. So that's uh, not too shabby. And it's for that action that they would do it. So if you're running shot adjacent to him, they would get the uh, they wouldn't take uh, push damage. Not too bad. There it is, damage ability right here. I'm here to help. Superman can defend, can use defend and probability control, but only 
to replace the defense values and rerolls the rolls of characters that are not on their starting click. Not too bad. Let's see, he gets that, he keeps that trait throughout his whole dial. And he gets that special ability for damage right there on the uh, second click. He sees it again on the fifth, sixth. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, but he has prob throughout most of the dial, whether it's through that special you know, quote unquote ghetto prob or his uh, regular printed prob. Next up, Jor L. Uh, starts off with. Uh, well, it doesn't start off with, but his damage power here is I can see a new path for us. You can use Outwit and Probability Control. Not bad. Um, his 100 point value starts off with that. Doesn't look like his 75 point value gets it at all, actually. So that's going to be exclusive to if you're playing at the 100 point. That's an expensive support piece, but he can also uh, function as a tertiary attacker, considering the fact that a 10 attack TK, um, 3 damage, 6 range, isn't that bad. That this thing that leap climb can help you uh, get into some favorable terrain with him. Uh, moving into his dial a little further, um, he does gain prob. Just has regular good old fashioned vanilla prob there. Uh, gets a defensive power, advanced technology. He can use energy shield deflection and invulnerability. Not bad, especially if you're keeping this a range fight. I see some uh, plasticity there at the top. Some range combat expert plasticity. Plus a new special ability called Lab Explosion. He can use Pulse Wave. When he does, his damage value becomes 2 and is locked. After actions resolve, deal him 1 unavoidable damage. So, not bad actually. If you're on click 5 and you pop that off, you would actually end up in a better position. Because your defense actually goes up 1. But you do lose that uh, nice little defense special ability that will net you some energy shield and vulnerability. Yeah, so... Pick your battles with that one. Not a bad dial for 100 points. I don't know about the 75 version. I really like that top dial outwit prob, but that's um, 100 points is a big cost. Kryptonian Warrior. He's got two special abilities here. Um, Kryptonian Warrior modifies his attack and damage values by a plus one when attacking a character with the Trio of Doom keyword or Superman enemy team ability. And then a um, second one is Minion, Fighting Spirit. I want a friendly character with a higher point value, and the warrior keyword is within eight squares. Kryptonian warrior can use willpower, so not not bad. I like the generic keyword uh, use there. A lot of warriors in this game. Not a reason why you can't make a, a general theme team here with a bunch of warriors and uh, make sure this guy's got willpower. Dial's not too bad. Seventy-five points starting off gets you eight movement, ten attack value, seventeen defense, three damage with. Uh, Charge, Toughness, and Exploit Weakness. Switches to uh, Flurry, Blades, Claws, and Toughness with an 8, 9, 16, 2. Then you get Charge Blades with Toughness and Exploit Weakness. Not bad. I, I do hate seeing uh, 3 damage with uh, Blades, Claws, Fangs. Uh, and uh, 16 defense. Not not bad, though. It doesn't really fall off. His damage value is, eh. Hair click 4. It looks a little worse for wear. 7, 9, 16, and 2 with uh, Blaze Claws, Flurry, and Close Combat, Reflexes, and 2 damage. That's what I like to see right there. But it's not bad. You know, if you're already adjacent, if you're already based with an opposing character, Flurry, Blaze Claws, your defense is going to be 18 against them. So, yeah. Pretty solid figure. 75 points. So you're even at 50 points. Not bad 50 points at all. Next up, we have Namek. And this guy, kind of light on abilities here. Just got he only has four of them. Uh, the one he picks up later on his dial is called. Uh, sorry, actually starting click two is Enrage. He can use Battle Fury, Battle Fury, and Close Combat Expert. So I guess that's not too bad in hindsight. See that now on click two, you can have feasibly a thirteen attack with a three damage, or an eleven attack with five damage, or a twelve attack with four damage. And he keeps that ability for clicks uh, two and three. He loses it, gets it back on six and seven, and uh, he keeps pretty good damage value, or pretty good values defensively at least, throughout most of the dial. Uh, looking at his end dial now, seeing uh, six and seven with you know both of them each have an eight attack value, I would get the uh, plus two to his attack value to give it brings attack to a ten, so you can uh, almost guarantee you hit with a three damage or four damage. It's actually put on his last click, click seven. 
And then next we have uh, Feora. Her fun little special ability is uh, Espionage. She can use Stealth. When she is a target of range combat attack, she can use Super Senses. And again, we got Leap Climb, Toughness, Penetrating Psychic Blast, Shape Change, Blaze Claws, Toughness, Leap Climb. We have some uh, Mind Control. And then again, with the Psychic Pin Chain Blast, Will Power maintains that way until click five, and you get a uh, Flurry Blades. A lot of Flurry Blades. I think that's the third character that's got that uh, sweet there. 17 defense with Toughness, 3 damage. Uh, flurry again, now with Shape Change again, and uh, Toughness. She's KO on her seventh click. And we have General Zod. <coughs> Excuse me. His damage part we talked about earlier, a military strategist, he can use leadership and perplex. He can perplex normally, or he may target each friendly character within line of fire with whom he shares a keyword with. And he shares a keyword with Trio of Dune, Kryptonian, and Soldier. So not bad if you're building a soldier team, put this guy in the middle of it. Even at a 100 points, oh, he actually he gets it later on his dials click 6 and click 7. Uh, click 8 too. Not too bad. Well, as I seem to lack the adequate tools necessary to uh, put this map out and keep this camera still at the same time, uh, here is the first map, Smallville Outdoor. Um, there is a good amount of elevated terrain here. This is elevated. All right, over here we have some more elevated. Down here, back in this corner, we have elevated. And then back along uh, right here, you have four more chunks of elevated terrain there, 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 and finally over there. Uh, we have a, a little bit of hindering terrain right here. I don't know if you can see that with the camera. Some hindering there, hindering there, hindering again, more hindering. A little, so pretty much you would think this, this kind of looks like an open line of fire right here, almost like the Crime Alley map, but no, you'd be wrong. There's actually a few pieces of blocking terrain smattered there as well. Uh, it looks like a pretty fun map, though. Even some of the elevated terrain is a little bit hindering on top of it. Now here we have Metropolis Outdoor Map, and yes, you're looking at that right. That is a lot of uh, elevation changes, actually. This is Elevation 1 right here, Elevation 2, Elevation 3, and then finally Elevation 4. Um, it doesn't look like there's actually any transition points like stairwells or anything. It looks like all of it transitioned into each other. So, um, very interesting map. It looks like a crater or something, maybe when General Zod lands or a comet from Russia. But really, look at the map. Um, pretty much, it's really wide open, save the different elevation changes. Um, there's probably about 10 squares of hindering terrain. I mean, it does. You can actually do pretty pretty much see all the hindering here. The camera's picking it up, those green squares. Other than that, just elevation changes wide open. A little bit of water terrain down here. So, pretty cool looking map. Looking forward to trying this one a lot. And here's a final product opened up and spread out for your viewing pleasure. We got the, the dice here. Your six cards for your six figures. The 2013 rule book. The 2013 powers and ability card. Object tokens. Special tokens. Your two maps. Well, as always, thank you for tuning in and watching my uh, unboxing first impression. Please stay tuned for more videos and comment at your leisure.